Hello guys, my name is Dian Hovland and I'm from Norway. Today I'm going to show you how to edit or time stretch an audio file to match your project speed. And in order to do that, I just chose a random audio file. I couldn't find any direct vocals, so I had to use just a free royalty, a royalty free tune I found uh, online. And uh, this is just the original file. I haven't done anything with it. I just dragged it into the playlist. So have a listen. As you can hear, it's totally out of sync. My project is 130 and this audio file is lower. So in order to sync this up and make it 130, I need to find the original BPM of this song. By the way, uh, I'm sorry about the old audio quality because for some reason my um, FL Studio really doesn't like me playing the audio from the from FL Studio while using the same drivers to record. So yeah. So the first thing we do we do to find the BPM. And this is going to be different in all DAWs, I guess. I'm going to right click the BPM and choose tap. I'm just going to turn off the sync or it will change the BPM as I go. Now I'm just going to listen to this audio file alone and I'm going to tap to the beat to find the BPM. Let's try this. Now the tempo tapper says the BPM of that audio track is 104 and that is correct because it said so on the site before I downloaded the song so I know that's correct. Now in order to change this up to 130 let's just go back up to 130 no not restretch I have to bring up the file that I loaded in here and go to time stretching. Now before I fiddle with this, I need to choose what type of time stretching I want. Resampling is just going to stretch the file and don't change it as it is. So it's uh, if I stretch the file any faster than 104, the, the speed is going to increase. But th that's going to be <laughs> quite uh, self-explanatory when you talk about uh, audio files with uh, different instruments. But if I were to try and time stretch, time stretch a uh, vocal, you will hear the pitch change because of the speed. So it's going to you know, this sound very strange. So I'm going to use the pro default because that that actually maintains the pitch. Of course, I'm it probably won't do anything thing different here, but I, I I usually do this just as a you know try to get a habit of actually changing this so it, I don't accidentally resample. So now I right click the time on the time stretching and choose auto detect. And this time it got it right. It's hundred and four. But sometimes it's just a weird number. So you have to, uh, usually what I do is I go down here and choose type in BPM. Then I just type in the BPM myself. But right now it says 104, so I'm going to press enter. Now it's going to stretch. Stretch. Stretching, stretching. There we go. Now it knows that the original BPM is 104 and it's changed it to my project BPM. Now it should match up. Let's have a listen. Oh, let me, let me just turn my kicks back on first. As you can hear, it's perfectly timed up now. Another thing you can do just to fine tune for yourself. Um, it's probably a bit lot easier if you have shorter audio files, so you probably want to you know, slice them up first. That is, if you go to the end uh, on this audio file, you see these arrows appear. If you hold down the left mouse button and drag, you get change. Normally this stretch option here, stretch audio when resizing audio clips, is usually off. So you get this effect. That's just, you know, you can trim them. But, if I turn this on, you see it will follow the grid. It has these bars it's going to snap to. And this is going to be different in all the dolls, but I, if I hold down the Alt key, let's just wait for it to stretch there. If I hold down the Alt key, the grid is off. So I can do some really nice fine tuning. 
that's handy in some situations. So, that's it. That's how you time stretch, at least in FL Studio. Um, as you know, I can't, <laughs> this is the only program I have, so I can't uh, show you in all the, uh, all the DOS. So, yeah, but the principle is going to be the same. Just uh, look up time stretching for your specific DAW and uh, you should get there. So I hope it helped and I'll see you. Goodbye.